Welcome back to WJCL 22 morning news starting your Friday morning off. It is 642 and looking live. This is from a Granger Nissan up Savannah Chatham Parkway. See the traffic moving along with no problems this morning. It is a nice start out there in Savannah, but some spots are seeing some heavy rain, 72 degrees, lots of humidity, that definitely that muggy feel as we start the day for today. Just a small chance that we may see an isolated uh, severe thunderstorm. You can see most of us are in that chance for it throughout the daytime, but the chances of it are no more uh, than about 20%, but we will definitely see some heavy rain for that. Today is a impact weather day. Heavy rain is likely street flooding is possible during times of heavy rain. Already seen some lightning strikes for inland areas. And like I said, the severe threat is low uh, throughout the daytime. Now from Buford to Savannah to Richmond Hill, Hinesville, it is dry, but look where the heavy rain is this morning. Uh, back near Vidalia, also near Hazelhurst, some light rain showers from Statesboro, even parts of Effingham County now from Springfield and around Rinkin is seeing a little light rain, but here's where the heavy rain is coming through from Mount Vernon to Vidalia. Boy, that is a wet go this morning. Lots of lightning strikes out there and heavy rain continues to pick up there in parts of uh, Tombs County. And also we are tracking out some uh, strong thunderstorms just off to the south and west of Hazelhurst from Hazelhurst to Denton. Moderate rain, even a severe thunderstorm warning out just outside of our viewing area. You can see Broxton right here off to the north and west of that. We'll be tracking this out as it's continuing to move to the north and west. Hopefully it will weaken as it begins to move up into our area, but that's that's why I do have that uh, impact weather day, that chance for maybe some strong thunderstorms as we go through the daytime. Here we are early in the morning. Very unusual to see these strong thunderstorms already uh, between, uh, say, north of Adasta and just south of Macon. This will continue to move on off toward uh, the east throughout the daytime. There's an impact times for us, mainly around sunrise all the way into about the middle part of the afternoon. That's that best threat that we'll see that heavy rain and gusty winds. So future cast is showing that rain as we start the day off from Vidalia to Reedsville by 10 and 11 o'clock Stakesboro. And but one thing to notice, I've been noticing a future cast. It does have this line weakening as it moves closer to I-95. So probably the greatest threat for maybe some strong thunderstorms today will be west of I-95 as we go through through the morning and into the early afternoon. Seven day forecast got some better news that is on the way for sure. Small chances for a few showers tomorrow, 82, but by Sunday, the sunshine returns dry weather Sunday and throughout a good part of next week. Really don't see a whole lot of rain, but temperatures will be warm mid 80s Monday all the way through Thursday. Emma Jonathan, thank